Remember this vegan beef mince we made the other day? Today, we'll use it to make these yummy vegan pies. This delicious pie is not just for vegans and vegetarians. It's for everyone that wants to try something new. I and my husband love it and we are not vegans. We'll prepare the filling first and for that, we'll need the vegan beef mince, beef in quotes, onions, vegetable oil, thyme, salt, all-purpose flour, Irish potato, carrot, and vegan seasoning. Scrape the carrot, peel the potato and onions, then chop them up like this. Mix the all-purpose flour with some water to get this consistency. Set that aside. Heat some vegetable oil in a pot. Add the onions and fry that for a bit. Add the vegan beef mince and fry for at most 5 minutes on medium heat. You need to stir it so often because it burns so easily. You can see the early signs of burning at the bottom of the pot. Even though I was stirring it like crazy, I tell you. Add the diced carrot and Irish potato, the seasoning cube, And the time. Click the like button to let me know you are enjoying this video so far. Are you? Are you? I had to add some water because this is starting to burn. Add salt to your taste and finally add the all purpose flour thickener. Cover and let it steam for about one minute and it's ready. Set that aside to cool down completely. Next, we prepare the crust for the vegan meat pies. We'll be using all-purpose flour, salt, olive oil, baking powder, and some water. Okay, something very important. One thing you actually need to do before everything we've done so far in the process is to pour the olive oil in a completely dry container and freeze it for about two hours freeze oh, so put it in the freezer <laughs> after it has solidified we can start mixing the dough sift the flour into a dry bowl at some point while doing that add the baking powder and sift through as well add salt Mix the dry ingredients very well and add the now congealed olive oil in small scoops. Using your fingers, rub the olive oil into the flour, making sure there are no lumps.
when done you have a crumbly result like this I'll never be able to confirm the exact quantity of water I need for this. The aim is to get a ball of dough that is not sticky. So let's start with half a cup of water. Add that and mix with all your energy as you try to get a ball of dough. The half cup of water has now been absorbed and we still don't have a ball of dough so let me add a quarter of a cup. I'm doing this detailed demo of how I come up with the perfect quantity of water because I noticed that all purpose flour has different textures in different countries. I live in Spain and the texture of this flour is not even the same in all European countries, not to talk of in other continents. The all purpose flour in Nigeria is so fine and smooth that I'm sure that this quantity of water I'm adding will be too much for someone using the flour sold in Nigeria. So wherever you are, use my quantity of water as a guide. Add water bit by bit, mix, add, mix till you get a non-sticky ball of dough. That's the result we want. Now we have it. I achieved this ball of dough with three quarters of a cup of water. Cover the dough and set aside to rest for 15 minutes. Now let's prepare to fill and close the pies. Beat the egg. I just noticed that the color of the vegan beef mince has overshadowed the rest of the ingredients. Everywhere is now red, a mass of red. <laughs> so I'll add some chopped green bell pepper to that just to have another color in there. After 15 minutes, knead the dough till those white dots you see there have disappeared. And it's time to roll out the dough, fill and close. I usually go by 5mm thickness for the rolled out dough. Place in this pie maker. For those who need this, I'll leave the links to where you can buy it in the description box below the video. Add some filling, taking care not to overfill it. Rub some egg to serve as glue. Close tight and cut off the excess dough. Take out the pie and place in an oven tray. If you do not have this pie maker, you can use a pot cover with a sharp edge to cut the rolled out dough like this. Add some filling again, taking care not to add too much, else the dough will not close. Rub some egg at the edges, fold. and close the edges with a fork, making sure that the top and the bottom dough are combined in the process. This ensures that the pies will not open while baking. Place everything in the oven tray lined with a baking sheet. If using a gas oven, please do not use a baking sheet. Rather, rub some olive oil all over the baking tray. Rub the egg on the meat pies, 
this will ensure they are golden and appetizing when done yum yum then place in a preheated oven and bake at 180 degrees celsius 350 fahrenheit till they are golden this usually takes about 40 minutes so set your timer on your phone right now <laughs> the vegan beef means freezes very well so put the remaining ones in a container and freeze after about 40 minutes, it's golden. Any more baking, the pies will dry out, but really, it's up to you how brown you want them. Look at that. Please click the like button if you think this is what you can add to your family menu. Wait, 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 wait. My husband just came in for some tasting. Mm. Look, see on me, huh? Mmm. We can eat, look. Mm -mm. You like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastes good, eh? Yeah. It's your yokusha. It's your but I found it tasty. Yeah. Even for me, I have Very good. my taste buds are crazy. Share the video with your friends and family that you think will need this recipe. Click the box on the left to watch the making of the vegan beef mince that we used in making these vegan pies today. Bye-bye, see you soon.